And joining us now from Buckingham Palace is NBC Royals commentator and journalist Daisy McAndrew. Daisy, it's great to see you. I have to tell you, I was a little surprised by the birth. Usually you hear a little bit of, oh, there was somebody in, going into the hospital, somebody saw this. But there was no indication that that baby was arriving. So they really had that locked down, didn't they? And I think they'll be very, very pleased that neither you, Hoda, or I, or anyone else knew that it was coming because that's what they wanted. They wanted to be in control. It's what they've been saying for years now, isn't it? That they want to take back control of their own image, of their own announcements. And they certainly did that yesterday when that announcement came that Lilibet Diana had been born, not yesterday, but on Friday. Yeah. We didn't even know the due yeah. date. Yeah. And the name, of course, is oh. a surprise, too. It's so sweet. Um, and really the first time I'd ever heard Lilibet, mm-hmm. but I guess for, for in the royal family, that was a, a sweet tribute, homage to the queen. Very much so. Lilibet has become, you know, the, became the queen's nickname, as Erin was saying, when the queen was a toddler herself and she couldn't pronounce Elizabeth mm. and it came out as something like Lilibet and it's been one of those childhood nicknames. And we know that it's what Prince Philip always called her. And in mm. fact, um, on his coffin at the funeral, there was a handwritten note from the queen to Philip signed Lilibet. So this is a very, mm. very personal nickname. Of course, in a way, it's not really a real name at all. And it is is totally synonymous with the Queen. Do you think that the Queen was surprised by that or do you think they called up and said, hey, this is what we're thinking? I'm hoping they did warn her that they were thinking that because, as I said, it is such a personal name to her that I'm hoping as a mark of respect. And, of course, Harry has been saying for a long time that he's on very good terms with his grandmother, that he has the greatest respect for her. So I'm hoping that he did tip her off, that this was uh, in his mind. And, in fact, if you look back, and I know hindsight is a great thing for all of us, but if you look back at the bouquet that Meghan had on her wedding day, it was full of Lily of the Valley, which is one of the reasons why Lily has been um, sort of quite high in the bookies' um, n- names as a favourite for theirs. So a bit of a surprise, but not much of a surprise when you look at hindsight. Well, assuming those traffic sirens aren't for you to tell you to move <laughs> along off the sidewalk, Daisy, one more question. I mean, how, how do you feel the family dynamic is right now and how might you expect the, this birth and the, and the really sweet name, mm-hmm. um, how that might affect the dynamic? I think the family dynamic is pretty rock bottom, I'm afraid. I would love to be standing here saying it's all fine, they've kissed and made up, but there's no indication that that's the case. Erin was saying in her piece there uh, that we're expecting Harry to come over for the unveiling that would uh, coincide with Diana's 60th birthday, which is on the 1st of July. The latest I've heard is that he's planning on flying in and flying out on the same day, that there's no suggestion that he'll be bringing baby Lily or Archie or Meghan with him. And lots of rumours about who the God parents are going to be and I can tell you it won't be William. Now that's because the royals don't do mm. siblings mm. as godparents. Um, so, but I think when you look back at who they chose for Archie, these were the old nanny, the old um, father figure, very British people and I suspect this time round they'll be full of Americans mm. and I think that will be yet another departure from their old life to their new life. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, Oprah. I was going to say, can you say Oprah Winfrey? Yeah. Maybe it'll be you, Oda, oh, to, make, to make up for the fact that they didn't warn us that yes, the baby was we coming. Had no heads up. Okay, forgiven. Daisy, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.